Can we just get this shit over with? <clears throat> Cause I'm really not looking forward for this video response. <laughs> Welcome to part four, motherfuckers! I hear voices in my head, they count to me, they understand, they talk to me. That is what your little hashtag means to that part of the world that doesn't live inside your own mind and in your computer in some fantasy world someplace. Which reminds me, which reminds me, I don't want to hear all this, oh, well, who are you? You don't ever play games. You don't know nothing about it. I'll tell you what. The first game I ever got into was a text-based adventure game called Adventure by Scott Adams on a TRS-80 Model 2 after we copied it over there from the disc for the TRS-80 Model 1. That was probably 1979 or 1980. I have been a gamer for almost as long as I've played drums, really kind of longer. I started playing drums when I was 8. I'm 44 now. So I spent about that same time. I mean, I had a Pong console when they were new. Been there, done that, played multi uh, multiplayer games. I've got, you know, I got a WoW account that has seven level 90s on it. You know, I play, uh, God, I've, uh, oh, well, there's another game that I'm not even going to mention because it's too cool for people like you to be part of. Um, well, I'll give you credit, you do play video games, but what is this special video game that is so freaking special that we're not cool enough to be a part of? Like, is it in your fucking head? Because if that's the case, then, yeah, you know, I'm pretty fucking jealous not to be a part of your club. Your club must be really fucking awesome. You must, you know, you know, drink lots and lots of beer there and... You know, have sex with many, many fucking hookers. Yeah, that's a, an amazing game you got there, you know, which is in your mind. There's another... <laughs> I don't want these Gamergate assholes screwing that game up because it's one of the very chill, very few chill multiplayer games uh, that's running right now. I've got, you know, I've got a, a Star Wars The Old Republic. I've got accounts there. And, several different characters on on a server there i've spent time i'm under i understand the the culture of the user on that side i also understand the culture on the inside which has always been not particularly friendly to women and here we go again well we're finally getting to the point so let's see what you have to say and in some of that, you know, it's not being a jerk to, to observe and to point out and to recognize that some of that is because that field is dominated by a certain personality type. Um, or was in the early days especially. When I was a little kid and first getting into it, it was, you know, geeks, right? There weren't a lot of women around because women have got better things to do than what geeks do, which is sit there on a Saturday night and spend... 18 hours looking at their screens making shit happen and I've spent some of those nights so I get it this isn't about any of that then why even bother bringing this entire story up that you own multiple accounts on World of Warcraft and Star Wars the Old Republic and etc I mean like like what you think that Gamergate is automatically going to go to those, um, you know, all those games that is that you cherish, that is not dominated by Gamergate, that they're just going to invade? You're not even that popular on YouTube. So you know, might as well just tell us. Hell, even if I make this video response to you, the most, you know, I might get maybe a hundred views at most, which means that I'm pretty much just wasting my time. I might as well make video responses to the likes of Bewilder 8, because 
it seems that I'm getting more more attention from him than any YouTuber ever. Speaking of the Wither Ape, I should probably make another video response to him. Pretty fucking. It's not about any of that. I don't have to be a gamer to see that this is fucked up. I don't have to be a gamer to look at the industry and I don't have to be a gamer to look at the fan base to see that there are some really stupid, irritating people out there. Finally, something that we can totally agree on. You do not need to be a gamer to point out bullshit. Unfortunately, you do need a brain in order to point out bullshit. And so far, you're full of it. And especially when you get into the more popular games like the World of Warcraft or the Star Wars game, their, their public channels are just flooded with stupidity. Oh my god, these people are so obnoxiously dumb. And for years, as this medium has grown and going back before that on the, you know, Usenet discussion boards and Fighternet bulletin boards and all this other stuff, there's always been these obnoxious rude, ignorant douchebags who hide behind the perceived anonymity and personal disconnection of the internet to say dumb fucking things to people. Yeah, you know, there's some assholes who are behind anonymity, you know, they don't show their face to show their true colors, you know, they say stupid shit, and they don't have to deal with it, you know, they can delete their accounts and make a new one and be total fucking assholes if they want to. But people like you, you shouldn't be fucking talking, considering that you disable your ratings and comments on your fucking video. Like, all six of them. As if you're afraid of someone actually trying to prove you wrong. Just say the rudest, most nasty thing that you can think of to somebody just because they're not there to punch you in your fucking mouth for doing it. And that's the only reason you do it, because you think you can get away with it. And you think you can negotiate your way past it. When somebody finally says, you know, you know what, this has gone too far, and starts climbing up your ass, and oh, I've got a right to free speech, and how come they're picking on the men, and blah, 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 blah. Horseshit. Yeah, it's total fucking horseshit to allow Gamergate to have a voice. Doesn't sound right, doesn't it? You are not allowed anymore to hijack causes of nobility and, and, and you know, ideological purpose to justify being an asshole to people. There are assholes all over the internet. And guess what? You are an asshole. That's right, you are a fucking asshole. I am the Atheist Gamer, stay tuned for part 5. Surprisingly, this is a lot shorter than I thought. Peace, the game out. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.